here we have the function uh, x dividing by the square root of x plus 4 minus 2. And we want to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 0. So we look at the graph. This is the graph for uh, f of x. And notice that this is 0 right here. And this is the left side of 0. This is the right side of 0. So we're approaching 0 from the left side. Then we see that uh, y approaches 4. And then uh, we start the, to uh, start from the right side of 0 and then get closer and closer to 0. Then we see that y also approaches uh, 4. So graphically, we see that the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 it will be 4. But analytically, how do we show that this actually approaches uh, 4? And so first, note the following. When x is equal to 0, then f of 0, in the place of x, we have 0. And this is equal to 0 dividing by 0, which is undefined. But we know from the graph, it's not undefined. So we look at the graph again. We see that the limit from the left side is 4, limit from the right side is 4. And so what we need to do is this. To simplify this expression right here and see if we can get 4 out of it. And to simplify an expression like that, notice the following. Remember that the square root of 2 square is 2. And the square root of 5 square is 5. And the square root of x square, assuming x is positive here, is x. And then the square root of uh, x plus 5 is x plus 5. Again, the assumption is x, uh, assumption is x plus 5 is positive. And the square root of a plus b squared is just a plus b. And so any time we have square root inside and then the squared outside, then we just get uh, whatever is under the square root. And then also notice that uh, this is the difference of two squares. a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. And therefore, if we have the square root of a minus b, times the square root of a plus b, then this is also the difference of two square. So it'd be the square root of a square minus this minus b square. But the square root of a square is a. And therefore we have something like the square root of x plus 2 minus 2 times the square root of x plus 4 times uh, plus 2. This is also the difference of two squares. And so we square the first term and then minus square the second term. The square root of x plus 4, if we squared it, then we get x plus 4. And then minus 4, and so we end up with x. And so for the ex our expression, we have uh, x dividing by the square root of x plus 4 minus 2. And so what we're going to do is multiply the top, multiply the bottom by the conjugate. The conjugate of this expression is just the square root of x plus 4 plus 2. 
So just change the minus to plus. Then this is called the conjugate of this. And so the top, we have box times this whole thing right here. We times the square root of box plus 4 plus 2. The bottom is the square root of box plus 4 minus 2 times the square root of box plus 4 plus 2, which we just did right here. And it comes out to be x. And so the bottom, which is x, is so over here, x, x right here. These were canceled out. So this x and this x were canceled out. And so what's left is the square root of x plus 4 plus 2. And so this expression right here is the same as the square root of x plus 4 plus 2. So this becomes the square root of x plus 4 plus 2. And now we can find the limit right here. But this is the same as uh, this. And now as x approaches 0, then we get 0 plus 4, which is 4, and then plus 2. And so we get 4. And so that's what we saw in the graph. On the graph, we saw that the uh, limit from the left is uh, 4, limit from the right is for as x approaches uh, zero. And so the answer is four.